Welcome to the Nikki Rich Show. Today we are here live. We have the man of the hour today. We have Dr. Fitness USA here live on the Nikki Rich Show. Welcome. Uh, wow, I'm alive. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, well, welcome, Dr. Fitness. Well, as I say, fire away. <laughs> today, I mean, we're here. We discovered and talked about strength training earlier. So. Sure. Today, we're going to talk about. Okay, so when it comes to physical exercise, when we talk about strength training, there's three aspects to be successful okay. or to think about, okay? So one is actually environment, and that's the first thing. So what does environment mean? It means that if you want to sculpt your body, you need to go to the correct automobile shop that has the tools to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so because of so many choices in the world, so to speak, you have uh, CrossFit, you have uh, exercise in the park, all these type of things, but those aren't the tools that are going to get you to have that beautiful uh, symmetrical body. Uh, so I don't promote those environments. Uh, if you want to be a competitive athlete or you want to ride around like a nutcase, that'll do that fine and it could lead to injury what you want to have is a professional gym what does a professional gym mean you have LA fitness you can have 24 hours fitness you can have goals gym planet fitness <laughs> those are established institutions that actually have real equipment that means that they deal or they put in the, their facility brand name equipment, not knockoff equipment. When you go to a personal training gym, you get involved in certain habits and the mm -hmm. equipment isn't like being in a comfortable pair of shoes. So what you're looking for is that your fit, foot doesn't slip or slide or it doesn't pinch your feet and the shoe feels so comfortable that you actually want to go for a walk. That's a comfortable environment that has equipment that's uh, can help you have a fun or excellent workout. Yes. So that's environment, but we forgot about the mindset. The mindset, that means that a mindset would be, a mindset would be that you actually have an idea that you would like to exercise, okay? But the idea is you need to know that you have to have a business plan of what you would do when you get in that environment so that you want to go back. Uh, gyms are built on money. Mm -hmm. The state of confusion. So if we, you know, I like giving an example, if you go into an LA Fitness, doesn't matter which one, you're gonna see $500,000 worth of equipment. I'm not saying everything works perfectly, but what happens is if you look around you're going to see that in Southern California, the people, especially the women, they're all on the treadmill. Mm -hmm. So what's wrong with that picture? You're in a gym that you're paying good money for that has tools that can actually assist you in having an excellent body. But because of lack of education or lack of what to do when you go into the gym, it's not going to happen for you. So you say, if I hire a trainer, doesn't a trainer do that? No, they don't do that at all. They're uh, part of the gym facility. Their mm -hmm. idea is to work you out. Now, the exer you don't. what happens is you don't hear the words work you out because uh, it means they're going to work you out all right and mm -hmm. you're going to sweat and do things that are uncomfortable. But that's not body design or prescription strength training. That's uh, torture. Okay, so it's like you're paying money uh, for an apartment, but you're never going to own it. So people go in with the wrong misconception mm -hmm. that the trainer is professional. Okay, I have pro trainers that train people all day long. I can hire them as a subcontractor to teach you my program. Sometimes I have to do that. But when they go in the gym with their own clients, they have a series of exercises that have nothing to do with their body, but you're working out. 
So being educated is a real plus. Mm -hmm. So if you've got an environment, you've got the uh, mindset. mindset. Now, let's talk about mindset. Okay, well, uh, okay, the person comes into my office, they want to know about diet, aerobics, core transparent, uh, uh, diet, all these things, okay? So that's a myth, okay? What's happening is, we're look, when we talk about male-female energy, what happens is when women's strength goes below 50%, they become subject to their emotions and their stress. And we know we're all stressed out. Mm -hmm. So what happens is a woman will become over data or over emotional and react and then think about things later. Or a strong woman will go up inside her intellectual mind and uh, park herself there. That means her thinking process is on all the time. Mm -hmm. And she becomes very rigid, inflexible, just like guys are. And uh, so the object of prescription strength training is to actually create the bridge so women get out of their intellectual mind and back into their body where you know, the chakra zone where they become comfortable and they become quiet. They stop thinking and they start to hang out with their body, which produces happiness, okay? So you need to know that if the woman continues to stay in her thinking mode 24 hours a day, she weakens her immune system Thumb. So if you want to get medically sick, keep on thinking and try uh, uh, the uh, hurrying up, pleasing others, being strong are not the assets of a strong woman outside of a business relationship. So the prescription strength training program is very specific to get you out of your head, back in your body, and it helps you to train in a way that you're not going to overtrain or undertrain. And in the first exercise, we can increase your strength 20 to 50%. There's your motivation. What woman want to be 20 to 50 cents stronger and feel happy doing an exercise? Yes. Now, the misconception is that what you see on television, that you have to go like a nutcase and work out three, four times a week, jump up and down. Okay. No, you just have to get to the gym and work out one time, one to three times a week for 40 minutes and the process will start to strengthen your nervous system, it'll start to correct your posture in the body mm -hmm. and uh, the program will become sustainable so you don't have to call up the trainer. And uh, so where I was at is that the younger generation are really hip and cool, okay? And then I explained about the older generation, 40, 50, 60s, who are dated in too much business. Okay, the ones that are involved in exercise or have a mindset, they're thinking that yoga is gonna, is the anti-aging tool. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, yoga was uh, used for uh, meditation purposes and it uses different muscle fibers. It cannot increase your strength 20 to 50%. It cannot, uh, uh, increase lung capacity, it can't correct your posture, it can't produce new shapely muscles. Uh, this is something that's a pipe dream that you've seen in a magazine or there's some young women that are blessed with beautiful bodies and you think that if you do yoga that's going to happen. As you do the yoga your body's going to get older by the minute. So, Dr. Fitness in the house. So. <laughs> Dr. Fitness, supposing you were 300 pounds overweight. Well, after listening to Dr. Fitness, I'd probably give him a call and ask him some clarifying questions. And you know, what because, questions would that be? Well, the thing is, uh, and I did an interview with uh, two women who were extremely overweight and uh, asked them certain questions. I said, well, uh, what is it that you're doing when you go into the gym, okay? And they said, well, you know, the first thing I do, I warm up my body and I do the uh, stepper-upper or the, the treadmill. And, and I say, well, um, is your body uh, uh, on the ground or off the ground? They say, well, it's off the ground. Isn't the purpose of life, even in martial arts, to be grounded? So you now just ungrounded your body, so you just ruined your workout. Okay. So just think about it, when you go to the web or you go to a professional, they talk about, well, you know, really uh, losing weight is about 80% uh, diet or nutrition. Are you kidding me? Just go to Gold's Gym. There's a thousand people mm -hmm. 
really working hard. I mean, really working hard so they can preserve their body, well, whatever it is that they want to do, but they're certainly not sitting home work, and they might be watching their diet, but they're not certainly sitting home and watching their diet and hoping one day magically they'll have this great body. They got to do the work. Mm -hmm. If you want to go to the hospital or you have a toothache, you have to drive to the dentist. You do. So uh, on another thought is, personally, I went to the dentist and uh, I know how to dental floss, I know how to do all that stuff, take care of my teeth. She says, geez, you have bone loss. I was just gonna have it back. She said, no, you can't have it back. Just like in life, you can't have your body back. You can improve it, but you gotta know how to improve it and you have to have a sensible way of getting to it. Mm -hmm. So that's where Dr. Fitness USA comes in because we create programs all over the world so it becomes sustainable. It's your best pal in life. You'll find when you go to the gym on my program, it's the greatest place to be and you're the safest place to be. And your thinking gets turned off oh, and you come up. out feeling exquisitely beautiful. Okay, sorry. It's okay. I think I hit. What was that? 10%. Okay. You talking about your body looking exquisitely beautiful. Well, you know, uh, when you when you go to the, pro, uh, to the gym on, on Dr. Fitness USA's program, so to speak, you're gonna feel on top of the world. You're gonna find out it's the safest place to be. It's the most fun place to be, and you're ha gonna have these exquisite feelings when you leave the gym. And don't believe all these things about if I sweat a lot, that mm -hmm. means that your body loses potassium and water, and that's uh, you're losing vitamins and things like that. So sweating isn't always that great, okay? And uh, women need to know that you have less blood cells than men. So you need to develop muscles so that it produces more, uh, requires more oxygen in the body to function properly. And in doing so, your body is going to lose weight. You just have to change the music, how you're perceiving your body and exercise, and you're going to lose the weight. Remember, if your mind can conceive it and your heart can believe it, then Dr. Fitness here can certainly help you achieve it. The website is Dr. Dr. the short version, Dr. Fitness. You have to put USA, DrFitnessUSA.com. And the phone number is 424-245-6560. Uh, and I encourage uh, the, uh, the creative, powerful women out there uh, to actually uh, leave a message and ask me a clarifying